The term chemical hazard includes substances that may cause damage to the health of persons who come into contact with them during production, handling, transport, storage, or use. Chemical hazards can be in liquid, solid, or gaseous state and can enter the body in the following ways by inhalation, absorption via skin and eyes, and or ingestion, eating or swallowing. Chemicals used in various work processes can often be corrosive, flammable, and explosive. Toxic substances such as solvents ingested cause poisoning and damage certain organs. Corrosive substances such as acids and alkalis cause damage to the skin, eyes, respiratory tract, and digestive organs. Highly flammable and or explosive substances include, for example, technical wastes, liquid fuels, and various lubricants. The following instructions should be followed when handling hazardous chemicals. Read the manufacturer's instructions for the safe use and storage of chemicals before use. Hazardous chemicals should always be packaged and labeled in such a way that their use does not endanger the safety and health of workers. Containers in which chemicals are stored must always be tightly closed. When working with hazardous chemicals, be sure to use the prescribed personal protective equipment. If symptoms of chemical poisoning occur, first aid should be sought immediately. Bottles of mineral water, juices, alcoholic, and other recognizable drinks must not be used for the storage of dangerous chemicals because their contents can be accidentally drunk by someone. If dangerous liquids are drunk, drink plenty of water, do not induce vomiting, and seek medical attention. Also, the doctor should be informed exactly which fluid was ingested. Harm to the health of workers is often dust from machine or manual processing of materials. The effects of dust on human health depends on its chemical composition and duration of exposure, from allergic effects to toxic and carcinogenic effects. When dust is generated in the technological process, preventative measures should be taken first of all to prevent the spread of dust into the working environment. This can be achieved, for example, by installing local ventilation on the dust source, sealing the process, and regular cleaning. Respiratory protection should be worn in workplaces where dust from the work environment cannot be completely eliminated. Depending on the type of technological process, in addition to dust particles, the air we breathe in the production plant may contain various harmful fumes, gases, and vapors that can be irritating, corrosive, narcotic, and even carcinogenic to the body. Various adhesives, paints, and solvents used in the manufacturing industry can cause fatigue, dizziness, headache, nausea, decreased comprehension, and mild or severe poisoning in the exposed worker. If you work with such hazardous substances, be thorough in maintaining personal hygiene. Use appropriate personal protective equipment. Make sure the ventilation system is on, and if not, then ventilate the work area regularly if possible.